Welcome back, friends. Our next guest, Teresa Patterson, joins us from Genesaret Free Clinics, a local nonprofit that's providing quality health care to Hoosiers regardless of their insurance coverage or their ability to pay. Hi, Thank Teresa. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. What yeah. a delight. We were just chatting with you about this, and I want to kick it off this way because you just told Ryan and I a staggering statistic based on your research that you've done there yeah. that really shows the need. What have you learned? Yep, so uh, we know there's about a million people that live in Marion County, and we know that uh, eight, nine, ten percent of them don't have health care insurance. And mm -hmm. they don't have health care insurance for a lot of different reasons, and that means that a lot of our friends and neighbors go without health care. Yeah. And, you know, down the way, that means that, um, you know, people can have bad health outcomes as a mm -hmm. result of that. Yeah. So we've got uh, free health clinics that have free women's health clinics embedded in it. I think that's actually what we were talking yes, about. Yes. Exactly. I was telling you that, you know, all women are diagnosed with breast and cervical cancer about the same rate, but black women have a 40% greater chance of dying from the mm. diseases. So our programs are in place yeah. to help provide screening services and then guide women to healthcare that they need all free of charge because healthcare is a human right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nobody in our beautiful community should go without healthcare. Yeah. And we're so thrilled to be able to be here today with you guys sitting on these yeah. sofas, getting the word out about how important what we're doing is and how people can help support us. That's great. Oh, you're, yes. you're, it's obvious how passionate you are yeah. about the work that you and your team do. Where can people find these clinics, whether they're watching now and they need the health care or someone's watching and they know someone who does, where are you all located? So our main clinic is in, embedded inside the St. Vincent of Ball Food Pantry on 30th Street. Okay. Go to our website. It has all of the information. It tells you the days, the times. We're actually there six days a week. So we wow. got some incredible wow. yeah. support this past year from um, an organization called Audio Chuck that really truly believes in this community yeah. and providing true compassionate health care. And they've allowed us to be open six days a week. That's so great. we're there wow. almost every day of the week if you can't come to me on Monday I'm there on Tuesday I'm there on Wednesday yeah. um, come to our website give us a call we'll guide we'll direct you to the site or to our, our location and when you get there you're gonna be very well cared for that's yeah. excellent well Teresa when you were breaking down those numbers another thing that's connected is you were talking about life expectancy yeah something that you wouldn't think of but you see based on your research that it makes a difference when you have that proper care that's exactly right so we've embedded our health clinic inside of a community that has a 15 year shorter life expectancy than Gosh. other areas within Marion County and the Donut County. 15, 15 years. 15 wow. years. So just because you live in the 46218 zip code, that sure. means that you've got 15 years left, uh, less, less life expectancy. Why is that? You know, I mean, we have these fancy terms called social determinants of health, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of it just has to do with access, access mm -hmm. to care, access to high quality food. So yeah. by embedding ourselves inside of a food pantry, we're inside the St. Vincent de Paul Food Pantry, you can go and you can get food, high quality, wonderful food, yeah. and medicine that you need. I actually think the best medicine is on the other side of the wall. I think it's actually the food, but yeah. we're there yeah. to provide that life-saving health care. Um, and then, you know, if there's something that someone needs that's beyond our capability to provide it inside our free clinic yeah. we have a really great referral network we've got great partners in the mm -hmm. in the community um, great clinics great hospital systems that we can you know we can we can nudge you into so that you can get that that That's full um, picture of care I love hearing the growth since the last time you, yeah. you were here on the show and I know that growth you know takes dollars growth and takes, takes support. dollars yeah so if people want to uh, contribute to the uh, true compassion is action spring campaign you can do so by going to that link on your screen right now genesaret.org slash True compassion, every dollar is gonna help uh, just Hoosiers in our community live healthier lives. And thank you so much, thank Teresa. You for for thanks for having me, I appreciate yes. you guys very much. Yeah. What a great resource here. Yeah. Well, it is time to play one of our favorite games, the Indy Now Pop Quiz. Let's do it. Yes, thank you so yep. much. All right. And thank you to our incredible sponsors who helped make this show possible. We want to thank the Fresh Market. We hope you guys got some of those gift cards and enjoying the new location there in Carmel off of Range Line. Thank you to Outside Insider and Sundown Gardens. And another thank you to the rest of our fantastic guests today, the City Moms, Dance Kaleidoscope, Lifetime Fitness, Holy Rosary, 38th Italian Street Festival, Animal Protection League, Stolf, and Genesaret Free Clinic. Wow, what a full show. Jam-packed show. Okay, Love time it. for the Indie Now Pop Quiz. Okay. Producer Abby is going to read questions. Play along with us at home. Yell at your TV. Here we go. Question number one. In what movie does Leonardo DiCaprio play a penniless drifter, an artist who wins two boat tickets? Titanic. Yes got me there. You were hovering. You kind of blocked me I was me like hoping because I heard Leo DiCaprio and I was like, I probably yeah, know. Yeah. King of the world. I'm okay. King of the world. Yeah. Next one. Which band had a hit in 1998 with the song Good Riddance, Time of Your Life? Uh, Green, Green Day. Day. Yes. I kind of love hate when you do that, actually. <laughs> I I, 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 today I love it. I look for your expression to see how mad you are. I'm not mad. No, today's Just fine. Just a little mad. Yeah, one yeah, to one. All right, tied up. Here we go. <laughs> 
In The Simpsons, what instrument would you associate with Bart's sister, Lisa? Uh, that'd be a saxophone. Correct. You a Simpsons fan? I probably never seen a full episode, okay, but I okay. know it's a successful show. I'm not like a diehard fan, but yeah, I've seen yeah, yeah. Okay, it's a all right. Show, yeah. Two to one, here we go. What movie starred Whitney Houston and Kevin Costner? Oh, the Bodyguard. Me. The body Correct. The Bodyguard. Now I'm angry. I'm sorry. Can't do I'm that. Sorry. All right. I pushed you too far. I pushed you too far. That was my bad. Here we go. Jim Morrison was the lead singer of which? The Doors. Oh, Correct. I love the, well, the Doors. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think we have time. Uh, uh, do we have time? No, we don't. Did okay. we? What? I think I won. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. No. <laughs> the Doors.